Yo, 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 it is your boy Nice versus Wild and you're listening to another episode of Bear Wolf Sessions. Thank you for tuning in. I'm not going to lie, this is probably going to be a heck of an episode. Uh, I just ran 44Ks at the Great Ocean Road Running Festival this morning. It's about 9, 9.22 uh, p.m. while I'm recording this session. It gets released on a Monday and there was no way I was going to miss a Monday. And plus, we just hit... 12 months of beer wolf session so we've got to celebrate that and why not celebrate it by doing and doing a marathon right that's how we roll um but yeah smashed out our 44k run this morning and i learned so much R- really probably the hardest and the most challenging marathon i've done so far in my marathon journey uh, and my running journey uh and I, I feel like i learned a lot um not only about running but also about myself and so many tangible things i think you're going to be able to take away from the session even if you're not a runner and i like to do these sessions um quite a bit especially straight after a run because i feel like there's so many so much learnings that can come from it uh, you're gonna get some good insights that's for sure yeah so hardest run i've ever fucking done not even kidding um at this, i'm recording the visuals for youtube so at the end of this if you're watching this on youtube i'll put some bts video that i recorded while i was running um, and man there's some emotional moments in there uh, i can tell you that and it was it was one of those terrains where it was definitely not flat um for those that know great ocean road it's up and down up and down um and if you're if you're thinking about running this terrain um just you, you got to tune into this episode that that's for sure um there's so many good things as well as so many key learnings that I think um, is going to be super good for you to know. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, if this is your first time listening, my name is Nigel Sushil. Uh I'm a full-time creative entrepreneur from South Auckland. I was born in a rural Fijian village called Lambasa, Bunileka, and my mission in life is to write a story that beats longer than my heart. All right. Uh, big shout out to Feature Weddings for sponsoring this episode as well all the love go check out future weddings i'll put a link in this uh video and podcast as well um but yeah great ocean road man uh i've been training for this marathon for about six weeks and undoubtedly i thought i put in the most amount of prep and i think i put too much expectation on myself to get a certain number on this um my prep was great to be honest i ran a lot i think i just didn't do enough strength training and and if and it caught me caught me big time on this run um and great ocean road is so beautiful like so scenic and so stunning um if you ever get to run that road do it um i feel like even just being on that road and running and seeing the water and the ocean is it was a total different feeling um running and on the on that road um but man i this was the first run that i kind of felt disappointed in myself um and that's just me being honest uh i was super confident going into it you know i had amazing prep uh I, even in the morning this morning like woke up at three thirty. you know body felt great everything felt great and this is the thing about this is probably the thing that i love about running the most because you just don't know how the fucking day is going to turn out and and like the first the first hour and a half i was like sailing through absolutely sailing through but um i just don't know what happened eh? my legs my knees gave out and it just doesn't make any sense to me because I felt like I I trained a lot. I felt like I, you know, had amazing prep. But I feel like this is the thing, this is the thing that we need to sometimes take into account. Like we can sometimes have amazing prep or feel like that we've we've done enough practice or enough preparation for a task. And then realize that it wasn't enough. Um, And that's when you learn, right? And I feel like out of all the runs I've done, this one was the one that I probably learned the most. Um, a couple of like, obviously, like I felt like my heart rate and my breathing was amazing on this run. Like I could have ran for ages. But like at about K32, 
my na- my knees just gave out. It just like gave out and my I just like I couldn't I couldn't even like walk properly after K thirty two. It was a scrape through to the end at forty four where it ended. But from thirty two to forty four it was like absolute nightmare. And I remember saying making this video and I was like, you know, like we're gonna be chasing nightmares tomorrow, not dreams when we go out and do this run and I was on the I was like literally chasing my dream up to K thirty two and then as soon as I hit K thirty two like it literally went downhill. The nightmares, the mind kinda like lost itself. I still felt like I was in control, but I just couldn't control the pain in my knee for some weird reason. Like every step I took, it was like so painful that I can't even describe it. And like I was pacing it so good, I was running under under f- like under six minutes um close to like 550 530 from pretty much 1k to k27 and 28 29 30 all around that five to six minute pace and then it's I, my my goal was as soon as i hit 30 i'll pick up the pace to five minutes and try like you know make up some time my goal was to try finish this marathon in under four hours but ended up taking me over five hours to finish this. And I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, you know, I had high expectations and I think this is what happens. And I talk about this a lot, you know, make sure you don't put outcomes and expectations and numbers. But I got to be honest with myself. I put a lot of expectations on myself to, you know, really perform on this race and really, really like, because I felt like I was like feeling the greatest, you know, I felt like, there was so much prep into this like and sometimes you know this happens sometimes you you think you're overconfident and then you fuck up like and it goes to show like i was confident in my abilities but you know on the day the terrains the mountains the windy conditions like you know all of that stuff that i didn't really think about um but man there was some next level hills that i needed to run up and this was my first time running on this track and it goes to show like on a track that you haven't run before it's like a whole different feeling. And it's like tra- training in the flat land of Papatoi, man, definitely didn't get me ready for this one on the mountains uh, on Great Ocean Road. That's what I'm going to say. But nonetheless, um, it was a great experience. Um, some key learnings. I think uh, I've realized that my my heart rate and my breathing is amazing now. Um I think the next next couple of next couple of months I'm just going to like really relax the the long distance. I think feel like it's putting a little bit too much pressure on my knees. Uh I'm going to go see a physio this week to check up on the knees. Um it's just my my right side, my right knee just just it's happened kind of twice to me now like it happened at the Melbourne Marathon and it happened again I realized as soon as I hit 31, 32 Ks, it's like my knees give up. And um, I was talking to a guy after the marathon today. He does a lot of Ironmans. And I asked him, hey, hey, like, you know, is there any recommendations or anything that you, you reckon I should do to try, like, fix this knee problem? I don't know why. As soon as I hit, like, 32, 33, I feel great up to that point. And then suddenly, like, my knees just give out. And he reckons that it's just 100% strength on the knees and... I learned that my body might feel great, um, but my knee is weak as shit. Um, And that was probably one of the biggest things I learned on this race, on this run. And um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really focus on, you know, making my knee stronger because I feel like if I can make it stronger to survive that 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, you know, get into the 40s, 50s. I feel like in a race environment, in a marathon environment, I think it's it's going to give me a big advantage. I've done obviously 60Ks and 50Ks as ultra marathons, but it's a complete different pace and environment when you run an ultra marathon compared to like a 22K half marathon or full marathon race because it's like a slightly higher pace rate. Um, but like even when I ran the 60 last year on Grace Off Road, like I still didn't have that much pain on my knees, but 
man, it was a total different feeling this morning trying to get, trying to do this f- full marathon, to be honest. Uh, it's next level pain and I can't even describe it. But nonetheless, it was an amazing experience. I think I learned a lot about that, like make sure you don't underestimate the environment that you're running in. It was next level wins and I felt like the wind was blowing me away. Every time I took three steps, it, it felt like I was like flying three steps back. Um, so <laughs> never ever underestimate the environment that you're doing a task in or or even in, in, in your in your business vent- ventures or creative ventures. Like really understand that that understanding your environment and studying your environment as much as you can. Um, it's really going to help you for the long run in anything you do um but yeah now massive shout out to zach as well um one of my best mates uh actually one of my running partners um that ran the 50 and the 60 with me the the last couple of years he ran 44 k's in south auckland without anybody clapping or watching him or it would no event ever he just showed up and did 44 k's to support me today um and it was actually a massive training run for us because Obviously, we've got another massive run at the end of the year that we're, that I'm super looking forward to uh, quite a bit. And um, I think before I sort of start doing the big runs now, I think I'm just going to focus on my knee to get 100% and really focus on, you know, getting some strength back in that knee. This knee, it's no good, I can tell you. No good. All right. Now, um, today, today was a fun day, though. I woke up at like 3.30, had a really good morning ritual um you know had my coffee stomach was feeling great and usually before a marathon like your stomach needs to be on point if you know what i mean um but yeah everything was great i felt great this morning um i still had a lot of fun um and obviously the coffee was amazing and and i i felt like uh i was alive and uh i was like running at my best ability it's just more the fact that you know sometimes you know you might think you're amazing in your head but your body's like oh shit all right maybe you're getting old um but yeah some things some things i think is a little bit out of your control but now that i've gone through this experience realizing how messed up my knee is um i'm gonna make tangible things every single day to make sure my knee gets better and I have full strength in my knee, um, and I'm I'm back to 100%. So yeah, I'm probably gonna take a couple of days out um, and just really rest up on the on the legs, um, and just see how we go. But I really wanted to do this reflection session. I feel like you know doing a reflection straight after the run, you know all, everything's in your head, and and you, I'm, I'm trying to sort of let it out um, and get my thoughts and ideas onto paper and that's why some of these sessions are really rough as well because you know as i'm thinking and writing and 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 creating these conversations hopefully that you can get value from hopefully there's like little bits where you can apply it to your own life and your own stories and i uh, and your own sort of chapter that you're on right now and um and i think you know one of the coolest things i feel like happened today was um there was this old guy not not being not saying old guys can't run marathons but like this guy was in his 70s or like probably in his 70s and he was like running like incredible like i couldn't i like recorded a little bit of a snippet because i was like this is so inspiring like this guy's probably in his 70s and he's still out there and like smashing me out of the park like straight up absolutely smashing me out of the park and i like thought to myself if i can do that when i'm like his age like that's going to be next level absolute next level and i think uh, a lot of times um we forget that you know that you can do those things at that age you know and sometimes there's a lot of like you know barriers or stereotypes saying that whole yo once you get to a certain age like you can't do these things and i think um he was a testament uh, when I saw him running and put, seeing how much energy and um, love he puts into his run today. Um, I didn't catch his name because he was just running past me like a bullet. But I'll, I'll chuck a video at the end of this and hopefully you can check him out. But man, so inspiring and um, really like got me moving. I was like, if this guy can do it, then 
I can too. And if, if hopefully I can do it when I'm his age as well. So yeah, what a what a day. Um what a what a experience. That's what I'm gonna say. And and I think I think this was the biggest learning that I've had in my running career that sometimes you can prep all you want and still fall short. Um, and I think I feel like I've really fallen short because I put too many expectations on myself on a certain result. And I think um, sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes this happens. And I think uh, I, I really need to step back and, and, you know, you know, a lot of times just take it in and, you know, they, they gave me this light medal today. If you're watching on YouTube, I'll put a little photo thingy and I got it. And I was like, first time ever, like, I just, just didn't feel satisfied. It was weird. It was really strange. And I've done a lot of marathons now and, you know, I always felt like super satisfied at the end and you know but i don't know just today just just wasn't my day like i just didn't feel satisfied because i feel like in my own head i put way too many expectations in terms of the result that i was trying to get which i really have have never really done on a marathon it's always been like about the experience and the learnings but i don't know maybe i was just trying a little bit too hard to get a certain type of result um but nonetheless um i still had fun um obviously didn't get the result that i wanted but you know you win some you lose some it's just the game you play and some days it's an off day and and that's what i love about running like i said you know you just don't know what day you're gonna get if it's gonna be an amazing day like if i think back to a good time like the auckland marathon like smashing out of the park like you know like in this one like different conditions different environments uphills it was like total different environment and um just goes to show you know you know you could you could feel like you're the man but you're not really <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck what an experience um but yeah um that's me i reckon um to be honest uh it was a good reflection session and it was quite late about 10 o'clock here uh in melbourne and while i'm shooting this uh it's been a crazy couple of weeks as well I'm glad, glad it's glad the marathon preps over now, and now I can just sort of focus on strength building and and really, you know, get back into doing more interviews and stuff like that as well. I've been taking a little break from that and really focusing on the run. And we've had some amazing guests the last couple of episodes, anyways, which is super cool. While I was in New Zealand, um, but yeah, hopefully can get a lot more guests on and 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 get other people's opinions and perspectives and worldviews and hopefully broaden our thinking processes and things like that but you know thank you for tuning into another episode sorry this was like a half dead episode that you literally wanted to make sure i still recorded something um and hopefully hopefully even if you're not a runner you got something out of today's session um and even if you didn't uh i promise you um thank you for listening to every episode every monday um, regardless uh, if you hate it or love it um, you listening means the world and thank you for everybody doing reviews and and sharing the sessions and stuff like that as well it means a lot to me personally and it really keeps me going every single monday um, but yeah if, if you if you if you are a visual person this episode will get released on youtube my face is looking pretty tired look at those tired eyes it's absolutely knackered can't wait to sleep tonight um but yeah Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Be A Wall Sessions. I will see you next Monday. Peace and love. Woo! Sun's about to rise. Feeling pretty good. It's a little bit chilly, but probably the best morning trip I've had, to be honest. Stomach's feeling pretty good. That usually never happens. The knees are ready. Let's go. Let's do this.
course is uh, the name of the to the half marathon. They're leaving from Kennets. And uh, those guys are leaving at exactly the same time as you guys are. So they all meet up in Apollo Bay and uh, hopefully meet at the same time. Michael like Bell and Yogurt. We're about 30 k's in, I think. How you going, bro? Good. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> Woo! Legs are tightening up hard. Let's see how we go in the last 20. Through to the end here. The knees giving up at about k32. Now it's just a scrape through to the end here. The knee isn't. I really thought I was going to pull it through here, but uh, I'm going to go back to the drawing board with the knee, eh? It's no good. Let's go. Keep in a wolf. We're almost there. Not going to lie, the course absolutely humbled me. The knees are gone. We've got like three Ks left. Absolutely got humbled by the course. I'm just glad we're almost at the end here. The knees are definitely out of it. I think I lost them at like 32 Ks. And it's been a fucking struggle to finish here. Definitely not gonna forget this one. I can tell you that. Woo! Just gonna survive here. Keep me in a wolf. Keep going. Let's go.